Hey guys, you're watching Editor G. I'm Soham, and this is our overview and review of the Timex iConnect Premium Active Smartwatch. Now, this smartwatch costs 6995 rupees in this variant with the sport band and the black design. And for the price, it offers a lot of features, and that's what we're going to be going through today. Now, if you take a look at the box, it's fairly simple. It tells you everything that it gets. So, for instance, there's a heart rate monitor, there's activity tracking like steps and exercise. There's a lightweight design, which means it's quite light in the hand. It's not all that heavy, but again, it's not cheap. That's the important part. It doesn't feel cheap in the hand. There's also notifications, so you can check all your notifications from compatible apps and like email, WhatsApp, messages, etc. And you also have a touchscreen display here. Now, it's important to note that the iConnect a premium active watch does not come with any buttons if you take a look at it there's absolutely no buttons anywhere on the entire uh, body of the smartwatch it's controlled only by touch gestures so you've got touch gestures for navigating through the entire user interface so for example if you're on the home screen and you swipe up from the bottom you get the notification drawer if you swipe up from the top, swipe down from the top, I should say, you'll get quick access functions to things like brightness, do not disturb mode, information, and the power off. If you swipe from the left, then you get a list view of all the apps and settings that this smartwatch has to offer. So things like brightness, sleep, workouts, weather, relax, music, everything is available from there in a list view. However, if you want a thumbnail view, you swipe from the right, and then you get the same things out here in a different sort of menu with larger icons so it's easier to see if you long press the home screen you get some amount of customization with a few different watch faces you can choose from one thing to note about the display though is the size of the bezels now the bezels are quite large and in fact the bezel is very oddly larger at the bottom now if there was a timex logo or an iconnect logo here i think it would look better that way but right now it looks kind of odd if it's from the top down you can't really notice because the bezel isn't um all that different in color from the screen so because of that it kind of merges into it but anytime you look at it from a slight angle you can see that the bezel is really quite chunky especially when the display is off like there so on the design front, it's okay. On the front, it's fine. It's nothing incredibly new that we've seen. In fact, it looks like a cross between a Fitbit and an Apple Watch Nike Sport Band. That's why it's got this, these holes in the band. And the band itself is actually quite soft touch material. I was actually quite surprised by the quality of the material used. It seems to be of quite high quality and it's very, very flexible. So you're not gonna have any issues with wearability at least. Now, speaking of design, on the back, you'll notice that heart rate sensor, which tracks your heartbeats in beats per minute. And it also features this. This is a proprietary magnetic charging um, dock here. So the iConnect Timex in the box, in fact, let's just open up the box and we'll be able to see it. If we open up the box like so, there's this little cable inside. Now this cable is for the magnetic charger. So it just clips on like that and it can start charging. Timex has not included a USB adapter in the box, so you will have to find your own adapter. But since this is a low power device, relatively low power device, you can pretty much charge it from any USB point, including like a laptop or a computer, and it should be fine. Okay, keeping that aside for now, let's move on with what the watch actually offers. So, when you scroll through the menu, you see that there's a huge variety of things on offer here, a lot of apps. For example, you have this for daily activity, which tells you your daily steps uh, that it counts. And the step tracker is quite accurate. As far as I've tested it, it seems to track pretty much the exact number of steps you actually take in real life. So there's not a whole lot of ghost uh, steps that it'll track even when you're not wearing it or even when you're just sitting uh, idle. Apart from the step tracking, it also monitors things like your distance traveled and the calories burned. 
next we can move on to sleep monitoring because yes this does come with a sleep monitoring function it can check if you've had deep sleep or light sleep based on the heart rate that it monitors so that's actually a very nifty function on a smartwatch that is at this price point then let's move on to the heart rate now the heart rate sensor it starts flashing green the moment you turn it on and in my experience um, it wasn't the most accurate now I compared it to an Apple watch um, and it did seem to have quite a large margin of error um, which is to say that it was at least off by a factor of 20 which isn't great when you're measuring things as vital as heart rate now even right now I've kept it on the table and it seems to be measuring I don't know what it's saying 100 BPM but it's on a table so this is not the most accurate heart rate tracker I've used but then again this is more likely just to be tracking your daily um, activity not really for very accurate tracking if you want that then you can get um, smartwatches and uh, fitness trackers that are designed specifically for that which cost a lot more okay now let's get into the workouts now when we're talking about working out there's quite a lot of modes available not as much as you'd get with like a regular Fitbit or an Apple watch but of course this is at an affordable price point so there are going to be some amount of sacrifices you'll have to make but that being said there is a lot on offer here for example it can track things like walking running climbing riding even elliptical so it does track quite a lot of different um, workouts and if working out is something you want to do then this will be able to mostly track most of your exercise pretty well there's also a timer which is very handy on a watch and you also have the weather app which will give you the temperature uh, for whatever location you've set it up with you also have this this is the relax app which is somewhat similar to what other smartwatch makers have also put in their devices for example apple uses breathe uh, this essentially guides you through breathing that will help you relax but um, in fact if you press play right here it'll tell you to please calm down it'll put on a timer and then it'll vibrate that's the vibration for you to start inhaling and exhaling this also has a nifty function called find phone so if you've got it paired to your smartphone with the compatible app then you can also use this to ring your phone and find it find where it is if it's if you misplace it somewhere around you in the house so now it started ringing my phone and there's my phone it's ringing i'll just unlock it there you go the app is telling you that it's trying to find the phone and then it just turns off in fact this works both ways even on this if you want to find your watch you press this button and this starts vibrating so that's everything we had on the smartwatch front now let's take a look at the smartphone app the partner app so now here it gives you a dashboard of all the quick access features um, there's today's steps steps counted that's pretty handy it also gives you the heart rate monitoring which it's been doing in the background and the sleep monitoring along with the calories burned distance traveled and the activity time that you've had it also tells you the temperature so it's basically relaying information between the smartwatch and the smart uh, smartphone app i should say and you also have a handy button to refresh everything if you need to now here when you press this you get all your details you can also change these details like I've entered the name and the gender etc you can change these and you can also tell it your height your goal and it can customize uh, your dashboard I should say accordingly for example right now it says 8000 goal because that's the step goal that I've set for it Okay, so another thing you can do with the smartphone app is basically add a few extra watch faces um, by per pressing the personalized dial button. And here you get four extra watch faces that you don't already have preloaded on the app that you can get from this. So for instance, now I'm rocking this one, which actually looks very similar to one of the Nike Apple Watch um, watch faces that Nike customizes specifically for the Apple Watch. So that's pretty cool to see on this smartwatch. Now there are quite a few extra features you can also put in this for example if you press pair my watch you can see it offers things like camera control alarm setting sedentary alert which means if you're sitting for too long it'll alert you to walk 
around for a bit for a minute or so to, just to get the blood flowing again in your legs so those are very important very nifty features to have on a smartwatch at this price point it also has a drink water reminder and it can turn your wrist wake for example if you just pick it up and make it look towards yourself it'll wake the device which is basically using the sensors on board to be able to tell when your wrist is up looking towards you and when it's looking away from you so it can turn on and off the screen accordingly okay so that's enough about the app let's get back to talking about the smartwatch itself now it's worth noting that battery life on this is pretty decent um it offered me around four to five days of extended usage um which is actually quite good for a smartwatch um even though it has a color display and it can also do things like heart rate monitoring and sleep monitoring. It does give you quite a long battery life. Now, if you're someone who's gonna be working out quite a bit, like twice a day or something, then it's possible you might eat into the battery a little bit faster than other people. But if it's just moderate to normal use, maybe one workout a day, then you should be absolutely fine with stretching this battery out to at least four to five days. Now, when it comes to water resistance, iConnect by Dimex does not particularly say if there's any IP rating, but if you check on their website, then it does tell you it's water resistant up to 1.5 meters. So that basically means it's not best if you take it into swimming pools, etc. But if you do work out with it and you have sweaty workouts, it should be fine enough to handle those. Okay, so to round up, this was the iConnect by Timex, the premium active version. And for 6995, it offers a lot of features. Um, I really think that a few things could have been made better like the bezels, the display quality and even the charging. If maybe it had USB Type-C or wireless charging, it might have been nicer. But again, for this price point, this offers a lot of value for money. If you enjoyed this video, do consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, giving us a like, sharing our content and for all the latest tech news, keep watching Editor Dreams.